Hi guys, uh, my name is Mike and today, or Star Talk if you want to choose whichever. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my Funko Pops like I promised I would in the last video. And then next episode I'll show you my books. And yeah, I think that's how it'll go. Um, I'm going to start off first with, I, I believe it's ME19. This one uh, destroyed work to mask at his castle. It was proved to be, she was like, her, it was said that she was like 100 years old. She, she was very old. Was, yeah. She moves. Next up, we have the Death Trooper. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm not wrong. No, I'm not wrong. It's from the Mandalorian, though. I think they were cool in moderation, but since they've been used so much, I'm like, oh, crap. This is the Death Watch Mandalorian. Amazing design. This guy costs like fifty or forty dollars. Jeez. Condition. Next up is BB. So a resistance BB unit. You can see there he is. So cool. Oh, his title's here. He was put on wrong, like weirdly, and so I found out the base is optional. I want to put him back on. Oh my gosh, jeez. There you go, better, better. My bad. <laughs> Take this a little bit, yeah. Wait, oh yeah, here's his camera. There you go, there, better. Anyways, I'm not his camera, but it's like photo or stuff around here or something. No, I'm not sure. Anyways, here's the um, uh, Sith. Uh, Sith Aerial Trooper has this jetpack. It's cool. This is actually a Sith Trooper. They never made Sith Troopers. And that's what bugs me. Alright? Well, I bet they did, but they were just sold out so quickly. Here's General Hux of the First Order. This is not... This is like 7. This is from 7. This isn't from... It's from Force. Maybe. Here's the Hermitite Chrome. Uh, Knight of Rangard. He has the Long Range Blaster. Yeah. Next up, we got Wrecker. I'm going kind of quick because I have lots of these. So here's Wrecker. You can see kind of nice. I like his armor. Okay. Next up, we have to get a V and Death Gang member. There he is. He's looking, he's looking cool. I like this guy a lot. All right, anyways, here is Jabba the Hut. He is. You guys recognize that this man has been... Or this, this, this guy's been in some movies. Here's Snoke. As you can see, he's... Kind of reminds me a lot of Palpatine. I said that he look, he looks a lot like Palpatine. Like, if Palpatine had a lot, it would be him. Anyway, here's the Incinerator Trooper. This guy looks pro. I like him a lot. This guy, when I got him for Christmas, I thought he was one of the most coolest people. Alright, next we have the concept series Yoda. I like this guy. A lot. He looks alright. Next up, we have Sabobo. I like Sabobo. Sabobo the dog. Looks kind of cool, actually. Next up, the Baby Yoda. Now, remember, I said I would be giving away these. I have two, actually, so that's why I'm giving away the other one. So, yeah, look at him go. Anyways, um, let's see, here is a Death Trooper carrying Yoda, maybe Yoda, like, when he takes them away. It's just supposed to be glow-in-the-dark, but I guess it wasn't. Anyways, here it is. No, no, I bought the one that wasn't glow-in-the-dark, so. I like the, like, the little, like, particle effect, like, the little, um, whoosh effect, you know, like, air falling on the ground. Here is the, um... Book of Boba Fett armor. So this is not like the Mandalorian armor. This is like the Book of Boba Fett. I like this a lot. He looks good in Funko Pop form. He looks alright in the show, but I prefer his old armor. Sadly, I don't have the original. Anyways, here's um Luke Skywalker. This is like the um Mandalorian version. This isn't like the um because he's holding Grogu. So it's not the original. Yeah. Here's the electrocuted Vader from Episode Six. Supposed to be glow in the dark, but yeah, you get it. Anyways, the next one, it's the Mandalorian. 
this helmet is kind of like the hematite chrome or whatever. Or it's just chrome. It's not real chrome, but it's like plastic chrome. Anyways. We are on to Palpatine episode 9. He's got lightning coming out of his fingers. Looks cool, actually. I, I, I like this guy a lot. I was really cool. It was really cool to receive him for Christmas. Bib Fortuna. Java's Major Domo. Um, Sim. Okay. Uh, next up. We have uh, Darth Vader. This is uh, this is one of my first ones that I got. I like him. Darth Vader is actually my favorite um, Sith. I like him a lot, actually. Or no, Malgus is, but yeah. Okay. Here's an Ewok, but the thing is, he's one of those from across the galaxy, so he comes with. So this is Wicket. He comes. W Warwick. He comes with a pin. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't uh, put it on because I don't want to like really ruin it or anything. So. Usually the pink hair is nice. Here is a baby Nibbets, a baby Ewok, and he's actually soft. Like actually, if you felt him, he's actually really soft. I like him. Uh, next up we have. Here, let me put you back, honey. No, no. I don't know. You're good. Okay. Next up we have the pork. I lo I love these guys. They're so adorable. You, uh, this is from 7 and 8, technically, because they were both in them. Here is the one from the Mandalorian. This is this is the armor he wore in the Mandalorian. It's it's kind of crap, actually. I hate this one. It's not my favorite. It's, like, outdated. This is him in the Mandalorian, but with his helmet off. He's got a lot of veins in his... This is this is what he got from the uh, Sarlacc encounter. Next up, we got Fennec Shand. This is the Book of Boba Fett, I believe. Yeah, this is from the Book of Boba Fett, not the uh, Mandalorian one. They both really look the same, except the one in the Mandalorian is standing up, and the one in the old one that I just showed you is standing up. Here's a Hammerhead, which, aka an Athorian. Yeah, look at me with my Star Wars knowledge. <laughs> so, yeah. These guys often have audio receptors, so you can actually listen to them, but they talk out of- they have, like, two mouths. It, it's, it's incredible. I like this guy. I do. Now, this is a Snaggletooth that I'm gonna show you. There, there's another one that's, like, Peach, but this one's- I- but I don't own him, but this is the gray version. I like- I like his hair. It's, like, so thin. Um, next up, we got- We got Cara Dune. She's not my favorite, but she's alright. I like her. She's cool. She's cool. There she is. Go. Next. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. My bad. Set you back up there. Sorry, this is taking so long to grab. My bad. Next up, we have the Mithril from the Mandalorian. He later works for the Alliance, but after being frozen in carbonite or whatever. I like the back set. It's his little girls. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. There's a good cube in there. Yoda. This is now. This is actually one of the first two I got. This is. There's another one. That that Vader and sorry that Dark Trooper that I showed you guys and this are the first two I ever got. Ever first two. Well, Star Wars Funko Pops. I got other Funko Pops, but they're not relevant. Oh, dude, this was epic. Okay, so here. You guys have heard of Death Troopers, right? This is the Smuggler's Bounty Death Trooper. This man is sick. This is why I collect Funko Pops, because some of them look absolutely insane. Alright, so here's one of my secret peels. I have another one of these. It's um, the 80s version, you know, like the comics version. So let's do, yeah, be one of those. There's this Ula. You guys know her, the little slave, the slave girl who tried to choke Jabba, but ended up dying in the Rancor pit. Yeah. So this came in a three set with Luke holding a bone and a rancor, which I will show you later. Um, next up we have from Star Wars Legends, the Shadow Guard. I showed you guys in one of these videos. He's epic. Uh, he didn't show his other arm. His other arm is concealed under the cloak. I did not break it, I swear. And uh, no one else did either. I swear to that. So this is... um. So, have you guys ever heard of this? I forgot his name. What was his name? There was this artist 
that was working on Funko Pops, and this is the Jawa. Oh, Futura. Futura's an, a Funko Pop artist, and he decided to, you know, put some stuff. This one cost 60 bucks. It's amazing. Ooh, I know. It was just a droid zero, I believe his name was. From the Mandalorian. This man looked alright, actually. I like his armor plating. I like his beady eyes. He, he looked cool. Alright, there's also this um, droid from Rogue One. I forgot it's like C2, Q2. It's like a little astromech. I think he's so small. Oh no, he's on his, he's off his base. Here, let me see. Perfect. We're gonna do stuff is the snow trooper. I like this guy actually. He looks cool. His newer um version looks cool too, but I like this guy a lot though. I still like him a lot. Next up we got the roadie and you guys all love. Some of you hate Greedo. Dude, okay, so Battlefront 1 is blaster is so small. I call him King of the Water Park because he looks like he should own a water park. He looks aquatic rather than um, land. Like, um, like a land creature. Next up is the Gamorrean Fighter. So if you guys saw in the first episode of Season 2 in the Mandalorian, you saw that he was invited to meet this guy who knew where Jedi were so he could return to Grogu. Uh, this guy... Um, and the, it was a trap, though. But the, there was a Gamorrean fight going on, and this was one of the fighters. I like this guy. I was really surprised to get him, and I thought, oh my gosh, amazing. But here's the uh, set I was talking about with Ula. Uh, this is Luke holding a bone. Um, it's cool that he used to choke the Rancor or whatever, like, stall for it. Yeah, anyways, this is him. Uh, next up, here, we're almost there, we're almost there, guys, we're almost there. Next up is Din Djarin, so this is his identity out of the Mandalorians. Okay. Um, here he is. Din Djarin. Yeah, he looks actually cool. Next up, we have a droid that kind of, I think this actually is like a model that's close to zero. It's uh, an Imperial, uh, it's a Death Star droid. But there's another version of this that's gray, but I have the black version. I like it a lot. Next up, we have... We have... Dagoba Luke. I like this guy. I like the... I love the Yoda holding on to him. I got this one... Is it for, like, Christmas? Okay, here's uh, a Dagoba R2-D2. I like this one. It's cool. Okay. Uh, next up, I have the lights and sound Vader. So, and also, this lights up. It's cool. It goes on for like a little, little bit. And his like chest lights it. It's so cool. Uh, I got the voice uh sound Kylo. So just here's his like he has no audio. Like he is like Vader has what's anyways, you guys mostly hate this guy. I so do I, but he looks alright in Funko for him. Jar Jar beats me some me so want to be your friend. That's a bit weird, I'm sorry. Anyways, uh but this is um Representative Binks, the one in the Clone Wars, not the one in the regular because you can kind of see by his snazzy tie that he is in the Senate. Here's Han Solo in Carbonite. Absolutely amazing. I like this guy a lot. He still kind of jiggles, but not really. You can't really jiggle him, but he's alright. Ooh, next up is IG-88. I love this guy. So only reason being is because his design is so sleek. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, next up, we have a Gamorrean guard. This guy did not come in the pack. Oh my gosh, no. Don't die on me. Um... There he is. Officially, he did not come in the pack about this guy separately. This is, like, in the Ula pack now. The Gamor- or uh, this is the Gamorian Guard. This is the older version, and I like him a lot. I still like the older version. He looks epic. Next up, we got Palpatine. 
dude. This guy looks insane. He, um, I like him. He, he's, uh, the last Jedi, and, yeah. This is, this is, uh, I believe this is, this is the Mandalorian, but this is, like, when the Mandalorian finds him, and he's just wearing his, uh, Tusken Raider robe, and is, uh, using his graffiti stick, if I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, graffiti stick. Okay. That's right. Okay. He's huge. Okay, next up is the Wampa. Look how huge this guy's head is. This is huge. So if I, like, I like this guy a lot. There's another one that's $180. It's Luke being hung up by the Wampa, and his arm has been chopped off. Not the, not Luke's, but the Wampa's. Anywho, he's actually taller than the next one I'm going to show you. Here's the Rancor I was talking about. This guy's insane. He's heavier than he actually looks. He's like, so his back is like actually smooth. It's actually she, my bad. This is she. Um Oh see, they actually she actually has like a earrings and stuff, so yeah. And I love these um a uh, shoulder like these natural um shoulder, like her armor plating, which is like actual this is it's natural, like her little her side and her shoulders. Okay, so these are some 80 ones. Here's the Vader. I love this guy. He absolutely looks sick. Yeah. This is actually shorter than some of my videos. I thought this would have been longer, but I'm glad it's kind of shorter. Next up is the Stormtrooper. Okay, and we got another C-3PO. As I said, I had another one. So look at this guy. Okay, next up we have... Luke Skywalker. Yeah, it's the 80s one. He, he looks cool. Okay, next time I'm going to move on to deluxe sets and big ones. This should only take a sec. Next, all right, we got Snoke and his holographic chair from Seven. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Actually, so we have the uh, Saber series, Volume 1, um, Darth Sidious. It's cool, actually. I like this guy. If they okay, made the character without the platform, I would actually get it. Next up, we have ginormous Din Djar or the Mandalorian. He's huge. Ooh, this is so hard to do, to be honest. Get up and down. Oh my gosh. I can't. Anyway, so you guys. So here's this the Dagobah scene where he's Yoda's know, raising this out of the water. I'll put that aside because I need to be able to get back and. Finally, oh, whoops. He's kind of blocking my way. So here's Baby Yoda. This one's actually bigger than Ninja Jordan, but only because his ears are longer and his head's a little bit bigger. Not in the real thing, but in the Funko form, yes. So here is the ginormous... That ginormous porn. I love this guy. He is one of my favorite Funkos that I ever got. I don't know why, this was kind of random, but he did do this. This is the Mandalorian riding a Bantha. Yeah, I like how it shows him getting the reins. Here's Babu. I hate saying his last name, Babu Frick, but that's how it was spelled. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, Gory Fixie. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I do an awful impression of Babu because I don't really know his language. Like, Java could do better. Like, yeah, anyways, here's, um, Pro Droid. It's the Hoth set. I never finished collecting the Hoth set. Hopefully I do. Yo, where's my uh, Hoth Blizzard set? Oh, here it is. Um, so this is Kylo. Ooh, whoops. Kylo and the TIE Whisperer. As you can see. This was one of my first ones that I ever got, and I thought it was cool. I absolutely love this one. It was one of my favorites. And I, st I still love it. Oh, here's the Blurg. Mandalorian on the Blurg. I love this guy. He looks so cool. If they made the Blurg, like, without the Mandalorian on it, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I, I would so get that. <sighs> Out of breath. Alright. Next up, we have the Hoth set. Uh, I like this one a lot. It's with Vader. And Snowtrooper. We have Vader and Snowtrooper pack. 
Okay, guys, that's um. Give me a second, then I'll do my outro. Yeah, he goes there. And this, the thing of the set, goes like this. Perfect. Oh, wait. Did it go like you could? Uh, I did go like. Oh. It went like that. And then it went like that. First color. I don't know if first color was the one. Wait. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, that'll wrap up our video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, just a reminder, um, make sure to subscribe and like to the video. Um, and also, I am going to be doing a video on my books, so hopefully you guys will like it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.